in this video we are going to talk about how we can plot points and draw graphs in matlab let me open the editor real quick now let me write a few commands that i always like to write what this command do is they clear out the workspace they clear out the command window and they close any pop ups that are open so let me comment something let me comment this that these are the ini initial commands to reset everything if you aren't aware then by using this symbol right here which is the percentage sign i can write out comment comments are just the text that you put inside the code it does not get executed or anything it is just there to make it easier for you to understand the code so if you are having a look at the code later on you would just read the comments and you would know what the code is about and everything so now let me comment something is that i am opening up a figure so the way you open up a new figure in matlab is by using this command figure and in these bracket you write the number i write figure 1 since it is the first figure that i want to open i press run and you see a pop up has opened and the figure 1 has opened but it is blank now i can write grid on and hold on so these are two commands the grid on command what it does it it makes a grid appear on your figure and hold on is it makes the figure not go away if you press anything else so it's just good to always write grid on and hold on whenever you are plotting now to plot a point you make use of the function plot and the way this function works is you write the x coordinate of the point that you want to plot the y coordinate of the point and then a few details so let's say i want to plot the point 1 comma 1 so 1 in x 1 in y and then what you do is you within single quotations what you do is you write how do you want the point to be plotted do you want it to be a dot or do you want it to be a cross or something let's say i want it to be a dot i press run and here you can see that i can see a point which is plotted on 1 and 1 now notice that it is plotted in blue color let's say i need to change the color i want it to be plotted in black before the dot i write k which just points to the black color in matlab documentation now if i click run the same point is now plotted in black similarly if i want to plot this point in blue i replace k by b pressed f5 which is a shortcut to run and here the point is plotted in blue now if i need to change the point from being plotted from a dot to a cross i write x press f5 and a cross appears i'm going to put a small snapshot of the ways that you can play around with this the colors that you can use as well as the markers that you can use now let's say you are plotting this point but you think that the point has been plotted is very small to see so what you can do is you can write an additional detail here which is called the marker size so you within single quotations you write marker size and then followed by a comma you define a number so with 5 being default so if i say 10 and i run the code again here you can see that the point the x is now bigger just visually it is easier to see similarly if i make it 20 it is even bigger now let's say i make it 10 again and now uh, let's say i need to make the graph look a bit nicer as you can see that there are no x tables no y tables and there is no title on the graph so to in include x and y tables all you need to do is you need to write x table and within these brackets you need to write whatever you want on the x axis let me write x axis and for y let me write y label and y axis and now when i run it you can see x axis and y axis labeled similarly i can write a title on the graph by using title and writing i am 
plotting, let's say plotting points and graphs. And now when I run this, it shows me the title. Whenever I want to save this graph, I can go here and press save here. And it allows me to save the graph as a PNG file, which is an image. Now moving forward, you can also instead of doing this, you can also plot the graphs in this manner. So by defining arrays in X, arrays in Y and this. So when you run this, you see that it has drawn three distinct points, one here, one here and one here. So these are the X values of those points. These are the Y values of those points. And I have told MATLAB that I want the points to be plotted in black color and the marker is a dot. Now, if I just want the three points to be connected, I replace this dot by a dash and I run. And now the three points have been connected. Similarly, if I want to make them connected, not by a solid line, but by a dotted line, I can write two dashes and here a dotted line appears. Just in the same manner I have used arrays here, I can also make use of this. Here I have defined X and Y as two arrays and I am simply plotting X and Y, which is the same that we have just did here. And instead of plotting X and Y in this manner, I can even make use of the colon operators to define the arrays. So here A is going to be an array starting from one to 10, B is going to be an array starting from three to 12 and I am plotting A against B. And here, all of these points are going to be plotted as crosses on the figure. You can see these five points plotted as crosses. Now, another thing that I can do is, let's say I have an array of X, which is starting from zero going to 0 0.5 to 10. So starting from zero going all the way to 10 with divisions of 0.5. And now if I write Y, as a function which is a function of x as this and once I evaluate this what is it is going to do is it is going to take each value of x so each element in the array x it is going to input this into this equation right here and it is going to store the corresponding value of y in an array so so let me just run this right now and here in the command window you can see that here, th these are the values of X and these are the corresponding values of Y. So if I need to plot them, I just write plot X comma Y and then the details, which let's say I want to plot it in green color and join them with a line. I press F5 and I get a line. Similarly, you can even draw other functions and multiple graphs on the same figure. The way you do it is, let's say, here I write X as uh, an array and Y is equal to sine of X. D stands for the X is in degrees. And now what it does it, for each value of X, it is going to calculate its corresponding value in Y and it is just going to plot x against y. I press x and here I get the graph of sine of x. Now if on the same graph I need to plot the graph of cos of x too, I define another function that say I call it y2 and so now what it does is for each value of x it is going to calculate its corresponding y2 value and then I can just simply plot it as x against y2 and let's say I want to plot it in red color and here I press run and I get the graphs of both the sine x and the cosine x on the same plot. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I would highly encourage you to check the other videos in this MATLAB tutorial series. I am Zen Khan and as always, see you in the next video.